Hello, it's Samantha. It's been a really long time. I'm not dead. I feel like I have to say that because every time it's been a long time since I post, people ask if I'm dead or people like post RIP and try to make people think I'm dead, which is like kind of mean. But anyway, I'm not dead. I last uploaded in April. It's now July. So I thought I'd come out here and tell you what's been going on. I'm filming this on Friday and hopefully by tomorrow I'll have it up because tomorrow is my birthday. I'll be turning 26 and yeah, so that's exciting. People my age are kind of like posting things about how they're getting really old and stuff and to me it's just so different because it's like in my mind it's like an accomplishment to live. Every year that I live, it's like exciting that I made it to a new year. Like I beat cancer however many years ago and I'm still going strong. Like it's really just makes me grateful for everything that's happened and the way that it's happened and it just means that I can be here and share my story and hopefully help some other people. And so first of all, I just want to make it clear that I haven't been absent from this channel for any bad reason. Um, it's really just been a bunch of good reasons. We've been super, super busy with so much stuff and I'm doing fine, I'm not in a bad place with my health or anything like that. My last PET scan was in March, I posted a video about it. I still have no evidence of disease, so everything is good there. Um, we've just been so busy and so I think it makes more sense if I start backwards, like the last thing that happened and then keep going back to April and just tell you what's been going on since then. I don't know if you noticed, but this is a different environment. This is our new house in Alaska. We got here just two weeks ago at the end of June, and we are still kind of unpacking, trying to get everything set up um, the way that we want it, and buying new things that we need. I don't know if you can see all those picture frames back there are hung up on the wall, but the pictures aren't in it because we have ordered them and we have not picked them up yet. <laughs> You know how moving is, there's so many things you have to set up, Wi-Fi, utilities, um, just buying so much stuff. So yeah, that's what's been going on. <laughs> My parents just left on Thursday because they flew up here to help us move in. And they also wanted to see some of the sites around uh, where we live. So we did some fun things like we went to Denali National Park and we did a 26 glacier tour in Whittier yesterday. It's been a lot of fun, but it, we've also just been really busy. I hate shopping so much. It's like my least favorite thing ever, and it's been a lot of shopping. <laughs> um, it's just, we have to go in person to stores because it's hard to get things shipped up to Alaska. Well, it's like some places don't ship here, and the places that do, it just takes a long time to get here. And we didn't even have our mail set up, so <laughs> we basically had to go in store, and ugh, I hate it so much. So that's what's been going on the last two weeks. Two weeks before that was we were driving here. We took a whole road trip to get from Virginia to Alaska. It was a whole 10 day trip. Um, we stopped and did some things on the way for fun and I will be uploading some of that footage to our other channel, my vlog channel with my husband. Eventually you will see that. We have a lot of footage backed up and I just haven't had access to any of the files or my computer editing software to be able to edit anything in a really long time. So eventually you'll see all of that and all the things that we did on that whole 10 day trip. It was fun. It was tiring. Um, we, did, we did a lot of fun things, but also there was just a lot of driving. Like if I put it into my maps app right now, it says that it takes three full days if you're just driving straight through. So it is really long. And um, when you get up there into like Canada, right before you get into Alaska, you're basically just in the middle of nowhere. So, you know, you're, you don't have Wi-Fi, uh, the road is really bad, and you're staying in motels and you're driving for 13 hours a day. So <laughs> it was definitely the hardest part of the trip, but it was also the end of the trip. And also it was beautiful up there. Um, we saw so much wildlife, it was, it was awesome. The June 16th is the day that we left on that road trip. And so basically before that, we were packing for the trip. Um, I was working up until the last day. I worked on June 15th and then on the 16th we left. We were kind of behind on packing because we had a ton of other stuff that we were doing. 
um, that I'll get to in a second. But basically Gray and I, I think were up until 2 a.m. the night before we had to leave. And I think we drove for nine hours the next day. So eight or nine hours. So that was fun. Um, the Saturday before that Thursday, I'll put, a, I'll put a calendar up so you know what's going on. But that Saturday before that, we were out of town for a wedding. It was two people that were in the marching band in college. They met there and now they're married, just kind of like me and Gray. Before that, we were at the Outer Banks with Gray's family. They take a trip there at some point in the summer every year and that was the week that we were there. It was a lot of fun. I did have to work from the beach some days, but overall it was, it was a good time. And before that, basically we went from trip to trip. Um, before that, we were on a trip with my family and that trip was an Alaska cruise. So you might be wondering why we took an Alaska cruise when we are literally moving to Alaska or we did move to Alaska. And it's because that cruise was scheduled for May 2020 and it just kept getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back because of COVID. It was a trip that my grandmother wanted to take the whole family on. Um, it was just what everyone picked. And it, yeah, it just ended up not happening until 2022. And it was supposed to happen so long ago that Gray was actually going to propose to me on one of the excursions that was on that trip. And obviously that did not happen. <laughs> but you know, that cruise was to a completely different part of Alaska than the part that we're living in. So we probably wouldn't have even gotten to that part of Alaska in the year that we're living here. The state is massive. We didn't like see things and then be like, oh, well, we're just gonna see that every day. It's completely different stuff. It was still a really fun time and we have some footage from that too. So um, we'll be uploading a vlog about that on the other channel too. <laughs> the weekend before leaving on that cruise, was Gray's graduation from law school. So he had all his family visiting, um, watching him graduate and celebrating. The weekend before that was my brother's graduation and his fiance from college. And uh, so we were out of town that weekend um, attending his graduation. Um, the weekend before that was Mother's Day and it was my sister's birthday, so we were celebrating Mother's Day with both sides of our family, and obviously my sister's birthday with her and her family. Um, but we were still in town for that because our families are close by, but it was still a really busy weekend. The weekend before that, we actually had a break. It was our only break weekend, basically. Basically, that weekend happened, and we realized, oh my gosh, we don't have another free weekend until we move. And it was really sad because there were some people that we wanted to see before we left. And it was really hard to like find a time to see some people. Our move just kind of snuck up on us and we didn't get to see some people. And it was kind of sad, but that was our last free weekend. It was that weekend. Um, the weekend before that, we were out of town again for my brother's capstone presentation um, for his like final college project. We were just visiting him and we had some other family coming for that that couldn't go to the graduation. That pretty much gets you back to the point where I last uploaded a video. So as you can imagine, I had a full-time job. Basically when I edit videos, it's on the weekend, when I edit like full long videos. So since I didn't really have a weekend that was free, except for that one weekend where we basically were just trying to decompress, do a little bit of packing, and preparing for the move. Um, I was busy like all the time. Um, we also had some other personal things, pretty big things going on that um, I'm not ready to share on the internet just yet, but um, just by looking at that schedule that I told you already, you can get a pretty good idea of how I didn't really have any time for editing um, so because of that, we have a lot of footage backed up and a lot of things that we want to share with you um, on this channel and the other channel. There's lots of vlogs and also just some other fun things that I know you will enjoy um, coming up. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And now that we just have all that footage and we're setting, settling down in Alaska, I just need to be able to have time to edit. I don't have an upload schedule right now that I can just tell you. Um, but I'm really hoping to upload more frequently 
and maybe that will cause me to get into a schedule at some point. But right now, there's this video and probably the next video you see will be out on that vlog channel. If you guys have any questions about our move or anything, leave them in the comments. We might make, you know, a question answer video or something. Uh, if there's a ton of questions, but if not, I'll just be responding to things in the comments. Um, I appreciate you guys sticking with this channel and watching me, even though I have been very inconsistent. Very sorry about that. If you want to be notified when I post, click the subscribe button, then click the bell. It'll send you notifications. And um, yeah, that's all. Bye.